Okay, so the purpose of this video is to show you how to use the data builder at Crypto Wizards. Now, this was developed just to save time to initially get some data and push into, a, say, a machine learning algorithm or whatever. But I found that I actually end up using this a lot and I don't really write code to pull data anymore. I just come straight here and do it, which is part of the whole point of Crypto Wizards is that you don't have to do a ton of coding to test stuff out and to analyze the markets. So what we're going to do here is just pull data and you could do this from your mobile phone. In fact, this whole app was designed so that it could work with your mobile phone, mainly so that if I had an idea whilst I was lying in bed, I didn't even have to get out of bed. I could literally just do it from my phone. And so I love this tool. It's very simple, very straightforward. And this is the way to do it. So you've got general data here, and this is where you can pull Yahoo Finance data. So Yahoo Finance data is free, and so is the Binance data. So we're actually using one of my APIs here to get Binance data if you want crypto stuff. General data, you can also pull crypto stuff. So let's say you want to pull Ethereum, Bitcoin, Chainlink, etc. data together. You can use this general data. Now it's worth noting that general data is also for stock data, forex data, bonds, whatever it is from Yahoo Finance you want to get. And so that's where we're going to start. We're going to select general data. And here I'm just going to pull some stocks. And it could be anything, but we're going to pull some stocks. And the way to pull those is to use a ticker symbol. So Google, for example, would be G-O-O-G, Apple A-A-P-L. Bitcoin would be BTC-USD, because that's how Yahoo Finance knows Bitcoin. And if you don't know what the ticker is for, say, Bitcoin and Ethereum, just Google Yahoo Finance Bitcoin historical data and it'll show you on the page that you click on what the ticker is for Bitcoin. So here we're just going to pull Apple data, AAPL um, and Microsoft. And I'll tell you what, let's pull some Tesla as well. And what else? Let's pull Google. And I want to pull this for, say, the last 10 years. And I want to pull daily data. Not for any particular reason right now, other than to show you. So, you know, your needs could be quite specific. I think what it is worth noticing is this has to be within the parameters that Yahoo Finance accepts. So I couldn't pull 10 years of one minute data. It's not going to let you do that. If you need one minute data, you're better off pulling like one to two weeks ago. So just, you know, be sensible in terms of what data you're pulling and for what period. If you find that it doesn't work for any reason, you're probably trying to pull something that Yahoo Finance itself wouldn't allow. And now we need to save the file. So here I'm just going to call it, you know, tech stocks. So T E uh, tech stocks like such. And we're ready to get the data. So I'm going to click get data and it's going to go to Yahoo Finance and it's already done before I could finish talking. It's pulled all the data for 10 years. Now I can either refresh the page and pull some more data or I can go and review what we've just gone and run. And I'm going to do that actually very quickly. I'm going to go to the data engineer tab. So I can either click here or I can click here. Right now I'm just going to go to the data engineer tab. And here you can see techstocks.csv. So we literally just pulled this. Now I'm going to do a whole video on the data engineer tab because there's a lot of stuff you can do on this with manipulating data and doing it without coding. And it's really good. It's really cool. It's my favorite thing, actually, I would say, other than Z-score. Uh, actually, I love the ML trainer, too. It's one of my favorite things about crypto wizards. So what I'm going to do here is just download that data. So to do that, I just click on this download icon. And here you can see it's downloading. And I'm on a Mac. So there's the download. So I could now open this in Excel or, you know, in whatever you use on your computer, because I'm switching over to Mac. It's actually using numbers at the moment, which is super annoying because I prefer using Excel and I'm still getting used to this new machine. But anyway, it would open it in whatever you're using on your computer. And so here you can see I've got all the adjusted close prices, close prices, high, low, open and volume for all of those stocks all in one data set for the last 10 years. You can see there's a lot of data here. And so, you know, in the next video, I'll show you how to remove columns, add columns, add features, um, you know, calculate returns, etc. on whatever columns you want, rename stuff. There's so much stuff we can do 
uh, over there. But for now, let's just jump back to Crypto Wizards and let's go back to the data builder. So very quickly, you know, another thing you could do is just pull, say, Bitcoin data, BTC USD, and that will just pull, pull Bitcoin. Let's say I just want Bitcoin and Ethereum. I can just pull Bitcoin and Ethereum like such. In fact, let's do that now. Let's get five years of those. Let's get daily data again. And let's just call this crypto. So normally I would call it under a name of a project or a hypothesis I have. But right now we're just going to call it crypto and get that data. And again, it should be super quick. There it is. If I click here, it takes me to the data engineer. Here's my crypto data. So I can click on this or I can click here and you'll see I've got a little menu option. We'll talk more about it in an up and coming video. When I select that, I don't have to download the data. I can just select that and it's actually going to show me on Crypto Wizards all the column headings. And it's also going to show me the top five rows of data. So it just gives me an idea of what that data looks like. So that's another way you can check your data. So finally, let's go back to the data builder. I say finally, there's two other things we need to look at. One is the crypto data section. So if I click on that, it actually goes and runs all of the cryptos that are available on Binance, which you can see is a huge list. Now, let's say I want to pull, I don't know, Cardano. I could put in ADA for Cardano. And it gives me Cardano to ETH to Bitcoin, etc. Let's pull Cardano to ETH. So now I'm going to select the date of when I want to pull Cardano's information from. So let's just go back to, I don't know, April the 1st. And let's run hourly data. And let's just call this Cardano. And hit get data. So again, this is going to connect to the API. It's already been set up. It knows exactly where to go. It'll pull the data. And before I could finish talking, it's already done. So I'm going to click here again to go to the data engineer tool. And here you can see the Cardano CSV. I'm not going to download it right now. Um, I'm just going to view it to make sure that it looks sensible. And here it is. I've got the date time format, the timestamp, open, high, low, close, etc. Uh, all the data that comes from Binance for Cardano, which is really, really useful. So that's very handy. You know, it also adds in these titles because Binance uh, as standard doesn't give you the titles for the features of that data. So this tool actually does that for you so that you know what column relates to what and it's all been pre programmed. Again, I use this because it saves me a lot of time. So every time I have a new project or something I want to look at, I can just do this, I can download the data to Excel just by clicking here. It's really useful. So let's go back to the data builder here. And now there's a section where I can upload data. So what I'm going to do is open up here on my desktop, uh, this file here in my desktop, I've got this test upload file. And so I could just drag and drop that in here, but I'm just going to hit choose file and test upload. That's what we're going to upload. And I'm going to click upload. Here it is and click upload and it's just going to upload your data. Now, sometimes you might want to upload data because you want to use football data or you want to use, you know, data to predict something which isn't financial data. It could be anything. It could be, you know, esports, de historical data where you want to make a prediction using ML Trainer and see what it predicted and what probability of success it has. And I'm going to talk more about that in other videos, but this is where you would upload your own data to go and see, you know, what can you make predictions on or however you want to use that data in the crypto wizards environment. Anyhow, this should have been a very good introduction in terms of the data builder. I hope you found that really useful and I'll catch you in the next video.